So here we have got a question in which it is given that A and B are two metallic solid spheres such that the surface area of B is 800% more than that of A. See, although it's a quadratic equation, Q will be plus minus 3P, but we are talking about radii. So we are neglecting the negative value. So therefore, Q is equal to 3P over here. Now the second part of the question is, if the volume of A is X percent less than that of B, to further simplify this thing, you'll get X to be equal to approximately 96.3. So here we have got a question in which it is given that A and B are two metallic solid spheres such that the surface area of B is 800% more than that of A. So we are talking about surface areas of spheres. Suppose uh, the radius of sphere A is P over here, just suppose, and the radius of sphere B is Q over here. Now it is given that surface area of B is 800% more than that of A. Now surface area of sphere B will be what guys? That will be 4 pi P square over here. Sorry, that is Q square over here and that is equal to surface area of A that is uh, 4 pi P square plus 800 percent of it. So, 800 percent of 4 pi P square. So, this is the situation given in the question guys. Let's simplify it further. You see 800 percent means 800 by 100. So, that is 8. So, 8 plus 1, 9. So, this is 9 into 4 pi p square we can say over here. So you see over here we can cancel out 4 pi. So therefore if we further simplify we are going to get q square is equal to 3p the whole square or we can say over here that q is equal to 3p. See although it's a quadratic equation q will be plus minus 3p but we are talking about radii. So we are neglecting the negative value. So therefore q is equal to 3p over here. Now the second part of the question is if the volume of A is X percent less than that of B. So volume of A over here will be what guys? 4 by 3 pi into P cube that is equal to X percent less than that of B. So volume of B over here is what? 4 by 3 pi into Q cube and it is X percent less over here guys. So can I not say it is 1 minus X upon 100? We can do like this over here. I hope this is clear. So you see we can cancel out 4 pi by 3, 4 pi by 3. Now we have already got this relation Q is equal to 3P. Q is equal to 3P we already have got. So over here we can put Q is equal to 3P. This will be 3P over here. So 3P the whole Q and then we have got 1 minus X upon 100. So over here we can further simplify this thing. So this will give us P cube that is equal to 3, 3 is a 9, 3 is a 27 P cube over here and it is multiplied with 1 minus X upon 100. This is 1 minus X upon 100. So you see over here we can cancel out P cube guys. So therefore we are going to get 1 upon 27 and that is equal to 1 minus X upon 100. So we can find the value of X from here guys. So x upon 100 is going to be equal to 1 minus 1 by 27. If we further simplify, we are going to get uh, 26 upon 27 or we can say that the value of x will come out to be equal to 2600 upon 27. So that is the answer actually. If we further simplify this thing, you'll get x to be equal to approximately 96.3. I hope this is clear to every student watching this video.